Hey y'all, in this video, we'll delve into the fascinating world of the axioms of rational choice, an integral component of rational choice theory. In the realm of economics, this theory serves as an invaluable framework for dissecting and gaining insights into how individuals make choices to optimize their well-being and or utility. At its core, rational choice theory revolves around three fundamental axioms, each providing a distinct lens through which we can examine the rationality behind decision making. Picture yourself in an ice cream parlor faced with a multitude of flavors. Completeness, our first axiom, postulates that you can systematically rank these flavors based on your preferences. It means you can confidently state whether you prefer chocolate over vanilla, vanilla over strawberry, or perhaps find them all equally tempting. This capacity to order your preferences is the bedrock of rational choice, ensuring that you can consistently make choices that align with your desires. In other words, if A and B are any two situations, an individual can always specify exactly one of the following three possibilities. A is preferred to B, B is preferred to A, or A and B are equally attractive. The symbol used here that looks like the greater than symbol denotes preference. Transitivity, our second axiom, demands logical consistency in your preferences. Imagine you're selecting your mode of transportation, say a car, bicycle, or walking. If you prefer a car to a bicycle, say because it's fastest, and you favor a bicycle over walking for its convenience, then transitivity ensures that you also prefer a car over walking. In other words, if an individual prefers option A to option B and prefers option B to option C, then they must also prefer option A to option C. In simpler terms, preferences are consistent and do not involve logical contradictions. In other words, there is a logical harmony present. Now let's delve into the third and final axiom, continuity which serves as a vital link connecting discrete choices to gradual preferences. Imagine you're dining at a restaurant and decide to order a refreshing beverage to complement your meal. You're really in the mood for Coke, but to your disappointment, the waiter informs you that the only two soda options available are Pepsi Cola and orange soda. In this situation, continuity comes into play ensuring that you make a decision that aligns with your preferences. It means you'll opt for the Pepsi, not because it's your first choice, but because it's the next best option available, close enough to your ideal choice of Coca-Cola. In essence, continuity dictates that when an individual states a preference for A over B, then situations that are deemed sufficiently similar to A must also be favored over B. This principle allows for a smooth transition in preferences when your ideal choice isn't available, ensuring your choices remain coherent and rational. This assumption is crucial when we aim to analyze how an individual responds to relatively minor changes in income, prices, or even product quality. It plays a pivotal role in maintaining well-behaved preferences and ensuring that an individual's choices remain consistent and avoid erratic behavior. While these axioms furnish a robust foundation for rational choice theory, it's vital to acknowledge that human decision making in the real world is often influenced by a complex interplay of emotions, social pressures, and cognitive biases. In practice, perfect rationality is rare. Nevertheless, rational choice theory remains an invaluable tool in economics, offering insights into how individuals make choices and allocate resources, even when reality sometimes diverges from these elegant axioms. I hope this video has helped you understand the axioms of rational choice. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments below. Until next time, guys, take care.